it comes down to tonight and who will advance at a group F to be in the women's under 20 championship in the Dominican Republic come May as Nicaragua gets set to host Costa Rica from Estadio Nacional de Football in Managua, Nicaragua. Perfect conditions here tonight as we get set. Nicaragua, they must win tonight against Costa Rica. For Costa Rica, if they get a win or a draw, they will advance into the championship. You also look at this Costa Rica side, they have yet to allow a goal. 22 goal for differential, six points. They have scored Guatemala right behind them. Nicaragua right behind them with six. Belize got their first win earlier tonight over St. Lucia. But you look at this Costa Rica side in total, they have scored 22 goals in all. Meanwhile, for Nicaragua, they've scored six goals here so far in qualification play, but they have allowed three. Tonight, they are gonna have to have their best game defensively as well as in the attack. For Costa Rica, you're gonna want and watch out for Alexa Herrera as well as Sheikha Scott for Herrera seven goals in total just five for Sheikha Scott on the other side you have a few different players that can score but it's going to be the question who's going to be consistent up front look for Munguia to have a big game tonight as well as Garage who scored in the last game in the win over Belize but 90 minutes will make the decision on who advances into the championship we already have four groups that have been decided now we're looking for the fifth tonight as we are moments away from opening a kick between Nicaragua and Costa Rica start 11 when we return. Damas y caballeros, queremos darle la bienvenida a los equipos nacionales de Costa Rica y Nicaragua. Para el clasificatorio femenino, top 20 de Copa Cup 2023.
Barcelona, Sevilla, la ciudad de Nicaragua. It doesn't get any better than this as Group F is online in the capital city of Managua in Nicaragua as Nicaragua takes on Costa Rica. A win for Nicaragua and they will be at the top of the table in Group F. A win or a draw for Costa Rica and they will finish at the top. A great crowd out tonight here at Estadio Nacional de Football in Managua as we take a look at our starting 11. We'll begin with the home side and Jennifer Fernandez's club in Nicaragua and this will be the starting 11. Yashoka Garcia in between the sticks, Katarina Rivera, Cynthia Calero, the captain, Aurora Zeldin, Stella Valalza, Maria Mejia, Adriana Manguia, Jennifer Cerrantes, Perla Garage, Elite Velasquez, and Ashlyn Ortiz will be the starting 11. Meanwhile, in the center, the official tonight controlling will be Carly Shaw McLaren, Carissa Douglas, and Angelica Santiago will be on the touchlines. Karen Hernandez will be the fourth official tonight as our captains come to the middle of the field. Cynthia Calero for Nicaragua, and on the other side is Serrer Benavides for Costa Rica. Costa Rica has absolutely dominated every game they have been in. They have yet to allow a goal in this qualification as we take a look at Patricia Aguilar and what she'll bring out for her starting 11. Once again, it's Genesis Perez getting the start. Brittany Vasquez, Luciana Gonzalez, Sarah Benavides, Tanisha Fonseca, Chica Scott, Alexa Herrera, Jocelyn Bersino, Priscilla Rodriguez, Marion Solano, and Ashley Gonzalez are the 11 tonight for Las Ticas as they look for their third and final win and to join the other four teams that have already moved on to the championship, which will be held May 24th through June 3rd in the Dominican Republic. Costa Rica will come out with their red tops, blue shorts, and red socks. Meanwhile, on the other side for Nicaragua, they will be in the all whites night with the blue numbers. Nicaragua has scored six goals in their two games. been dominant in the attacking third against Costa Rica. And we are underway from Estadio Nacional de Football in Managua, Nicaragua, between Nicaragua and Costa Rica. This will be played out by Nicaragua, last touch by the outside back in Aurora Zeladin. A quick throw here for Ashley Gonzalez as she plays it in. It's to be brought down by Nicaragua in the first corner of the night. Costa Rica has been so good on corners and set pieces. You have to be prepared there in that six-yard box 
where Ball to go that back post. Also watch Costa Rica not afraid to go back to the spot in the top of the 18 to get a strike. Alexa Herrera will send this ball in. The service headed up. And going up to grab this ball was Garcia. Garcia has to be confident in every decision that she makes. She cannot hesitate against the front three of Costa Rica because they will make you pay as she will now send it away. Not the best ball from Garcia, but either way, it comes to the foot of Mejia. Mejia had a goal in the opening game against Guatemala for Nicaragua as this is slipped through intended for Scott, but sent away by Nicaragua. Mentioned Sika Scott and what she's done. Two goals in the last win against St. Lucia. She came off as a sub. She had three in the opening game. And another corner early for Las Ticas. Luciana Gonzalez will head over the far corner. Luciana and Ashley Gonzalez on the field. So the double Gonzalez as this ball is whipped in. And it up and just over. Dangerous ball back right there by Nicaragua's Jennifer Cerantes. Great strike on the ball right there by Benavides. And you look at Cerantes in the right spot, barely over the crossbar. Ball now sent away. So as of right now, Nicaragua withstand the pressure of Costa Rica. They need to find a way to win possession back and move the ball up the field though. Herrera, two players colliding in the box, no call. And we'll talk into you right there, a warning. But another corner, already the third one here. And we haven't even played three minutes. Tonight, Belize got the win over St. Lucia by a score of six to one here in Managua. First win for Belize in group play. Gonzalez sends it in. Headed away once again by Nicaragua. Gonzalez. Good job there by Manguia, forcing Gonzalez to try to play this down the line and into space as she was looking to connect with Sheikha Scott. Ashley Gonzalez out of Sporting FC will Move up the field now for Las Ticas. Good communication right there between Garcia and Ashlyn Ortiz. Ashlyn Ortiz at Juventus FC is where she plays her club soccer. This will take a high hop. Selden right there going to the backside of Costa Rica's Ashley Gonzalez. Benavides plays this over, Brancino will push it up, Brancino back in that opening game against Guatemala at a goal from 40 yards out. Here's Herrera, Herrera with space. Slots it back, blocked in front, the follow up try, denied by Garcia. Great looking opportunities there by Scott, but denied on both attempts. Herrera doing a good job, no one stepping up. Here comes the pressure, Scott gets one opportunity, blocked in front, and then Garcia getting the second stop. I believe going down to make the first one was the captain, Calero, on the first attempt by Scott. Walta loses possession. Racino will relay it back. Here's Genesis Perez, yet to allow a goal. Really look at Perez, she's really not been challenged, so that's gonna have to be a key for Nicaragua. They're gonna have to pick and choose when they attack, and when they do, they need quality on target. Scott with an opportunity, over and in, just chipped over barely, and Sheikha Scott gets Costa Rica on the scoreboard in the sixth minute.
Garcia nearly got to this ball. Scott able to get it to the back post. Just goes through two defenders, chips it over Garcia's left hand barely. Garcia nearly makes the save. And then it finds its way to the back post and in. Garcia going out and attacking, makes herself big. Just cannot get her left hand to stop that shot attempt by Scott. She now has six goals in total. She has scored in every game. Lalta plays it inside. Not it down. Hard collision there, but coming up with the ball is Garage. Garage, one of the goal scorers in the win against Belize. Nesna Varate, she had two goals in that game, but she'll be used as a sub this evening as Brincino will play to the near side. Played in, Rodriguez. Here's Gonzalez. Ashley will look for Herrera, but offside flag is up. trying that diagonal run. Leave that to be horizontal and then push up vertically to be onside. Herrera. Scott, the goal scorer. This one looped over to Ashley Gonzalez. Side flag once again up against Alexa Herrera. We're at a CS Herodino, where a lot of these players play for Costa Rica. A tug of the jersey, and that will draw the whistle. Clear tug there by Zelda, and she's got to be careful. She ran to the backside of Ashley Gonzalez earlier, this time stretching the jersey. Down the line. Solano offside. Now Costa Rica just slightly off on their runs. And you can see a body length ahead. Cerantes. Over Vlalta, Brasino can't handle it. Maybe here's a chance for Nicaragua to take advantage. Vlalta into the area. Vlalta cuts it back. Chance, and this one curling over, but an excellent look there by Zeldin. Just needed to get that down about three feet. Vlalta playing it back. It comes to the foot of Zeldin, and she just blasts it over. She had a little bit more time to work with. Maybe she could have taken one or two more steps up. Herrera to the overlap. Luciana Gonzalez keeps it in. No. back at what Costa Rica has done. 13 to zero over Belize, and then they followed up with a nine to nil win over St. Lucia. That one also could have been double digits. Scott pokes it forward. Fonseca, Herrera, Herrera brings it to her left. She can use that left. Scott back to Herrera. Looking to curl it back post. Well, no curl on that ball from Herrera. Herrera shown she can score with both feet. Does like to use that left foot a little bit more though. 10 minutes in, one to zero is our score. The lone goal coming from Sheikha Scott, four minutes ago. Here is Scott. Scott from long range off the crossbar and out of play. Well, 
confidence here from Scott as she blasts it off the crossbar. I like that too by Scott. She's already scored one from inside the area this time. Tries it from distance, trying to keep Garcia on her toes. Solano will play it back to midfield. Now sent back by Vasquez, Prasino. Benavides the captain. Oh, intended for Herrera. Back is Ashton Ortiz, putting pressure on is Herrera, and Ortiz does the smart thing. Allows her team to regroup. Ashley Gonzalez inside. Oh, dummy ball, but right on it was Velasquez for Nicaragua. Lalta tries to go up the center, unable to get by Rodriguez, and you have the foul against Costa Rica. But you see Mejia as well as Lalta. These players in the midfield putting pressure on Costa Rica if they do give it up. not looking intimidated one bit by Costa Rica. Rivera down the touchline. Let's see, what do they say? Corner or goal kick, and it'll be the first corner of the night for Nicaragua. Good work right there by Katrina Rivera out of Atletico Somotillo. Yamanguia will take the corner. Inward swinging ball coming. Near post. Slides it back. Anguilla. Mejia. Scoop pass in. Garcia coming out to grab this ball. And it's a good thing she did. In the area there was Aleth Velasquez. Good first touch right there. Bringing that ball down by Fonseca. Where he has two goals dating back to the win against Belize. Vasquez drops back with Alta. Nicaragua doing a good thing, not forcing the ball when they get at their feet. Ortiz. Herrera. So bring it inside. This ball popped out over the top to Ashley Gonzalez. Tracking back is Cerantes. Here's Gonzalez, gets by Cerantes, the cross. Headed back, dangerous head back there by Calero, the captain. Well, Garcia was going to make the grab for this ball. And Calero wasn't sure, maybe a miscommunication there. That's one where Garcia needs to call Calero off. Fifteen minutes in. Nicaragua doing a good job here, just allowing the one goal. They've gone to the attacking third numerous times, actually more than we saw Belize and St. Lucia. This is the first time that Costa Rica has seen any sort of pressure in the final third. And we'll see how long Nicaragua can keep it up for. Meanwhile, though, still Costa Rica controlling the possession here.
Scott surveys, looks for Herrera, knocked away. Benavides will play it back to the keeper and Perez. Hard challenge right there by Nicaragua and this is going to go against Jennifer Cervantes. Priscilla Rodriguez going right over the top of Cervantes, there you can see the body clearly on the leg. Look at Jocelyn Vecino, she does have a strong leg. She's gonna be a threat from here to get it into the area in the top of the 18. See if she elects to send it all the way down. This one hops into the hands of Garcia. We go back to that game against Belize. Pacino with a goal from just outside 40 yards on a free kick. I think probably everyone on St. Lucia was surprised. No one on Costa Rica was. Herrera trying to thread it back. Good shoulder to shoulder defense right there on the play by Mejia, here's a shot here post. Look at Mejia, what she just did right there. She did not trail, she did not allow Costa Rica to get more than two yards ahead of her. She was right there on the shoulder, just hugging the hip. And once again, you see that on the pressure right now. Once these Costa Rican players get the ball at their feet when they're across midfield, they know if they let Costa Rica work with space, they're gonna pick apart the defense. We've seen that in the first two games. This one headed back and a dangerous chance here. Gonzalez back to Herrera. Flalta back. Rodriguez will drop it off. Vasquez. Every time that ball is topped to the area, Garcia making run to make sure she's the first one that can get to the ball. Good battle already here between Gonzalez and Ashlyn Ortiz. Nicaragua must win this game if they want to advance. <laughs> Nicaragua still has one game left against St. Lucia to close out group play on Sunday. That'll be at 9 p.m. Eastern. Solano. Ashley Gonzalez off the body of Ortiz. of Nicaragua, they are forcing mistakes here from Las Ticas. Another chance here for Costa Rica, 1v1, long shot. Fonseca, she has two goals dating back to the game against Belize. Nicaragua doing a good job forcing Fonseca to take that shot from beyond the area, not allowing her to get 
into the 18 yard box to make it difficult for Garcia to have to make a save. And now Nicaragua doing a great job not getting out of position even when Costa Rica is making a dangerous attempt to get into the attacking third. trailing 1-0, has to be thrilled so far with this outcome. Good recovery once again by Nicaragua and Rivera. And we're gonna have a foul actually called here against Nicaragua. So Rivera initially won the ball back and then she fouls Tanisha Fonseca. Costa Rica, they are dangerous on set pieces. Where has scored from a free kick closer. This one about 35 yards out. by Garcia. Good attendance all over in these different groups from Group A to Group F. Nagua being the host here in Nicaragua, the host city. Hands out and attendance once again to support their home side. Gonzalez. Benavides, near side. Ashley Gonzalez works it in. Natalie Luciana. Interception right there by Nicaragua as Aura Zeldin. Zeldin at Real Esteli FC. And out by Herrera, find Scott. Scott, square ball. Back post and spinning wide. Tanisha Fonseca has had a couple of good chances now. First one went over the crossbar. This one, she wants that far post. It slides it wide. So now both sides will come to the touchline for the cooling break. Costa Rica one, Nicaragua zero. Lone goal coming from Sheikah Scott. That was back in the sixth minute. And either way, it's been great football here this evening in Managua. Costa Rica controlling this game so far, but Nicaragua getting chances. Here's that goal by Sheikah Scott. Just goes right between the two defenders and chips it over. On the back post was Herrera, just in case this one doesn't get into the corner. But you just look at Chica Scott go right between Calero as well as Torrantes. You have to wonder, that's gonna be an adjustment that those two make. They cannot give any kind of space when a player is attacking vertically. 
Let them go horizontal, let them back up, but if they are going at you, they're going downhill, you gotta get a body on them. Scott now with six goals in total here in group half play. One behind her teammate, Alexa Herrera. Both Herrera and Scott have scored multiple goals in every game so far. See if that stays true tonight. Nice threaded ball, Munguia. Oh, offside flag was up. Oh, Munguia nearly timed that and just barely offside. Oh, that's one where you just wish you had Var Munguia nearly stayed onside. And you have to think if she can stay onside, she had two runners on the backside of the box, so she had two people she could pass it off to, or she could take that shot herself. Fonseca flips it towards the end line. Backs it down, and let's see if this is a corner. It is. Solano will leave this behind. And Luciana Gonzalez will go over for the fifth corner of the game. against Priscilla Rodriguez there. Rush doing a good job of putting the ball at her feet. She wanted to split the defenders right there, but knocked away by Herrera. And there you can see with the push from behind by Rodriguez. doing a good job tonight, not beating themselves, not forcing any self-inflicted wounds until that one right there. Herrera trying to catch Garcia off her line. Racino. Relay it all the way back to Perez. Mejia. The only thing Mejia can't do is just give it right back. She had time to work with after getting by the defender. Just need to be a little bit more patient on the ball there. Benavidez surveys. Intercepted by Nicaragua. Herrera. They're going to call a foul. Actually, and Herrera saying she pushed off. Sets up. Top of the 18. Headed back by Brasino. Now sent away by Las Ticas. 
Bruin White doing a good job here tonight against Las Tigas. Herrera looking to go over the top, does. That's Lano. And you can look at the effort here by the captain, Calero, to get the ball back for Nicaragua. Scott just on the edge of the area, crossing. Follow up, and that one sneaks its way through on the near post. And Costa Rica has a 2 0 lead. Marion Salado with her first goal, and Gru playing a big one right there. Nice pass here by Scott. Solano just slots it through eight yards out. I think it's by a couple defenders. He finds the boot of Solano. That goal coming in the 32nd minute. So we we'll have our first sub as Sarah Ramirez is going to come in for Nicaragua. So an early sub. You have to think, excuse me, that'll be Ines Navarrete coming in for Nicaragua at, off will go Ashlyn Ortiz. So Navarrete, she had two goals in the win against Belize. So right now, Jennifer Fernandez seeing that she needs to get her team involved more in the attack. You have to think that's the reason for that substitution this early. Trailing 2-0, Fernandez must think that this is the moment. Try to get a goal back before half. Go into the locker room down one. If not, get two goals would be most ideal. See right now if you can force Perez to make a mistake sending the ball away. Look at what's at stake. A chance to move on to the championship, which will be held in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. May 24th through the June 3rd. U.S.-Mexico had already advanced. So 27 teams in all vying for a chance to move ahead. The winners of each group get that automatic berth into the championship. Group B saw Panama advance. Group C, the Dominican Republic. Group D, Puerto Rico. Group E is Jamaica. Two groups. Still not known who's going to advance. Group A, it's between El Salvador and Canada. Those two will play tomorrow to see which side will advance. And then tonight will be the decision maker for Group F. Will it be Costa Rica or will it be Nicaragua moving on? Right now, Nicaragua trailing 2-0. So Costa Rica is showing that they're looking to advance to the championship. Also look at Costa Rica, a chance here, the championship if you're one of the top three teams to make it to the women's U-20 World Cup, which will be held next year. Costa Rica historically has been a threat as they have appeared in the World Cup a few different times. Look at a chance here for Nicaragua to get that first score on the board. Drive in, near post, oh, just bent out, the ball just it down and in, and Nicaragua has their first goal. Oh no, they're gonna call it off, they're gonna say offside. Perez with a great save. And offside is the call. 
what looked like a goal for Katrina Rivera is called off. And boy, that could have changed everything in this game for Nicaragua. But now that will bring a little bit more confidence for Nicaragua, showing that they can get behind this back line. They can find a way to score, whether it's on a set piece or maybe in the run of play as Scott will send this across. She had Solano on that back post. Ball one back by Nicaragua. Guia turns away from pressure, plays it into the circle. Benavides. Giveaway by Costa Rica. Can Nicaragua make them pay? Trying to pass that ball through. Intended target there was Velasquez. Benavides, though, doing a good job shielding off Velasquez. A little bit too much pace on the pass. Plays right there back to back by Genesis Perez. Nicaragua looking for their first goal. They had one called back. It looked like a goal from Katrina Rivera. She was ruled offside. Garage crossing. Chance here, Valalta to her left, poked aside. Anguilla plays it out, Herrera giving chase. That hits off Herrera, did it hit off her hand? The official says no. Nicaragua maintains possession though. Zeldin goes in. Scoop pass, headed. Navarrete getting her ahead to that also there was Velasquez. see Nicaragua showing that they can be a threat in that final third. The question is, can they find that first goal to make this a one goal game? minutes remains in the opening half. We'll have highlights from the first 45 minutes for you, so you'll want to stick around for that. Is barely kept in by Gonzalez. Remember, the entirety of the ball has to go over the entire line. Another corner, though, here for Costa Rica. There's six in the opening half. Herrera plays it in. A, play, a couple players down for Nicaragua behind. Garcia down. Also slow to get up is Garage. You see Garage get pulled down by Luciana Gonzalez.
Herrera in the channel. Back over Zeldin. Trying to get by her, does. Plays it back to the six. Now back to the top of the area and sent away by Nicaragua. Let's continue to funnel in here as we are near the end of the opening half of play. Rodriguez, Scott with the goal that started this game. Herrera looking for her first. Nice ball here for Herrera. And just enough pressure right there by Zeldin. Gets a little tip, so Herrera can't hit it with the right part of her foot. Hits it off her toe and out of play. Rodriguez. Scott trying to cut it back. Good read there by the captain, Calero. Scott, Herrera. Herrera late to get up. Navarrete who subbed on. She's been the lone sub so far. Ball one back by Gonzalez. Good battle there between her and Navarrete. Herrera back up. Great look there at Patricia Aguilar, the coach of Costa Rica. Giveaway by Nicaragua. Can Scott make them play? Scott trying to get by one defender. Where is this going to be? It's just on the outside, Cervantes committing the foul just on the outside of the area there, at least according to that replay. So yellow card handed to Zeldin. First card of the game for either side. Solano will set up with the left foot. She has the second goal in this game, her first goal here in group stage, as we'll have two minutes of time added on. Solana looking for a possible brace here before we head to the locker room. Solano bending, knocked away by Garcia. That one was searching for the upper 90 and talk about a save by Yoshoka Garcia. Garcia slow to get up. She's made three solid stops tonight. This one is the best though by far. Goes up, bats away, and then, oh, she gets her side into the post. That's why she's holding her stomach. That never feels good. Hopefully it was just the wind knocked out, because that was a tremendous save right there to keep this game two to zero. She doesn't make that save. It is for sure three to zero, Costa Rica at half. Still a chance for that. Las Ticas looking for that third goal, hoping to get it right on this corner. The 
Texas Raycross looking to go 225 minutes without allowing a goal. Gonzalez. Another save by Garcia. That took a high hop, went over the back line in Nicaragua, and once again, diving stop by Garcia. but you can have a whole highlight reel of the saves that Garcia has made here in this opening 45 minutes of play. Any other goalkeeper this game is easily five to nil, if not more, for Costa Rica. And there is the whistle to end the first 45 minutes as we will head to the dressing room. Costa Rica leading by a score of two to zero against Nicaragua. Scott with a goal and Solano with a goal in the 32nd minute. And that is where we stand after 45 minutes of play.
are set for the second half. And if it's anything like we saw in the first 45, this one is gonna go down to the wire in this game between Nicaragua and Costa Rica. Amelie Molina coming in for Nicaragua. We'll see what kind of difference she can make for Nicaragua here in the second half is they brought in one sub in the first half in Indianis Navarrete, and now they'll bring in a second. Costa Rica with the same 11 out to begin the second 45. That's gonna be key when subs are used and how they are used. Nicaragua right now doing a good job of keeping this game two to zero. But we'll see what they can do here in the second half from Estadio Nacional de Football in Managua, Nicaragua. Group F play, Josh Toll with you as we are underway once again as Nicaragua is still searching for that first goal in this game tonight. They had chances, but coming up big was Genesis Perez and doing just as good on the other side. You have to hand it to Shoka Garcia, who was absolutely tremendous for Nicaragua. It was Elite Velasquez that went off the field for Nicaragua. Relatively quiet in that opening 45 minutes of play. But let's see what Molina can do. Molina plays her college soccer at Garner Webb University. So she'll look to give this Nicaragua side a jolt. She's another physical player for Nicaragua. So we'll see if that's also another reason she was brought on. Not afraid to go shoulder to shoulder and push some bodies around. This will be played back and up by Rivera. Flalta able to play it off the defender and Luciana Gonzalez for a throw. Two goals in that opening half. First one scored by Sheikha Scott in the sixth minute. Marian Solano in the 32nd minute would score the second for Las Ticas. Blue and white though, doing a good job getting into the final third. Here's Scott, one of those goal scorers. She also has an assist on the second goal. Alexa Herrera looking for that first goal. A little step over to the end line. Herrera trying to get by the last defender in Calero, unable to do so. With an injured player down on the ground. I think that's Katrina Rivera that is down for Nicaragua. Herrera gets by Rivera. She goes down the ground, plants her foot awkwardly into the turf. It looked like her toe got caught up on the turf. It's one where you ideally like to hit with the ball of your foot or the middle of your foot. She got that front toe on it. And just got stuck there in the turf. Hopefully she's able to get up and walk this off. Without injuries like turf toe, plantar fasciitis that always affects the foot. Never comfortable. But right there, able to walk off, so that's a great sign. Then you also worry about the knee buckling in the process too. But a goal kick nonetheless here for Nicaragua. Where maybe one too many touches with that ball, probably should have tried to slide that off to someone else at the six yard box. The goal scorers, they want to score even if it's from a sharp angle. Cristina will play this all the way back. Perez. Perez and Costa Rica have yet to allow a goal here in Group F. Remember, a win or a draw for Costa Rica, a draw because of their goal differential, they will advance on to the championship. Take a look back at this foul. I guess that's not fully true. There would be an outside chance Nicaragua would have a chance to move on, but they would need to score well more than 15 goals in order for that to happen in their final game against St. Lucia. Yeah. 
I'm not going to say it's out of the realm of possibility, but a very, very, very small chance. Herrera to Scott. Played in by Vasquez, high fly ball. Off the volley there, that's gonna be wide by Solano. Solano a little confidence after scoring her first goal. player down for Nicaragua. Collision there as the ball was shot away. Clara getting over. Tanisha Fonseca didn't do anything wrong there. Get off Clara went out. Trying just the force of the impact. Now Luciana Gonzalez will play it in. He's been in charge of the corners once again this evening. Casino looks to tee this up with the left. This one not a bad, but Casino in the perfect spot. Herrera for Scott. Sent away by Clara, but only as far as Herrera. Herrera, nice little through ball chance here. And great job there by Garcia coming up to stop that before the ball could get to Tunisia Fonseca. You can see the turf burn there on the hip of Garcia. She went down to make the save. Always some rug burns after you play a game on turf. Bruises usually anyway, whether it's on turf or grass. Seven minutes into the second half. Costa Rica's had the better opportunities so far. Nice handle there. See if Costa Rica can take advantage. Herrera to her left foot. Oversteps the ball. Here's Calero, the captain. Gives it away to Herrera. Now to Scott. Vasquez to the spot. Headed up. Let's see if Nicaragua can get something going right here. But he uh, in the circle. Good pressure right there from Priscilla Rodriguez. Crowd liking what they're seeing right now. Rivera. Priscilla clears it away. Herrera to the ball first. Rivera still down on the ground. Rivera sent this in to the six, and then she went tumbling down. Sarah Cruz about to sub on. I wonder if it might be for Rivera, who's down on the ground right now. It is. So Sarah Cruz, who plays her club ball at Leona State Managua, will come in. Trina Rivera will head off. Of course, this game being held in the capital city here in Managua. The Estadio Nacional de Football. Beautiful night, even better crowd. Costa Rica looking for their third win. They've yet to allow a goal. They've outscored their opponents now 24 to zero. 
Meanwhile, Nicaragua, they have yet to allow more than two goals in a game. They sit right at that number at this moment. Giveaway here by Costa Rica, but given right back. And now one back, Munguia reversing. Mejia. For Vital. Hard challenge. Chavez is going to calm things down for the moment for Costa Rica. Both keepers a solid game this evening. Garcia's made the tougher of the saves, but Perez, she's had a couple of difficult ones to make as well. You get the goal that was disallowed. She was able to tip the ball off the woodwork. Ultimately ruled offside against Nicaragua. And she's had another diving stop. Before this qualification began on Friday, 27 teams were vying for a berth into the CONCACAF Women's U-20 Championship, which will be held May 24th through June 3rd in the Dominican Republic, joining the U.S. and Mexico. We've already seen four countries advance. Costa Rica hoping to be the fifth. Nicaragua hoping to keep their chances alive. With a win, they will automatically advance. Chance here for Scott. Scott tonight has been the most dangerous player for Costa Rica. She has a goal and assist. And she's really been controlling the ball, dishing out passes as well as making smart runs. Gonzalez. Headed and once again gathered in by Garcia. Garcia looking to spring a counter. Vasquez, Herrera, down the line. Scott will run out of space. Rodriguez inside. Fonseca gives it over to Gonzalez. Solano. Garcia to the ball first. Garcia very decisive on the decision she is making. Win or run out to grab the ball, win to let the attack of Costa Rica come at her. Good communication between her and her back line this evening. Cross into the area. Herrera. Herrera back post ball. Good job there by Saladin coming and kicking that ball away. 
Did the right thing. Garcia coming up on the play. If Zeldin doesn't get there, dangerous chance that maybe even Garcia unable to get to the ball. Gonzalez looking to help her team get to three goals here on this corner. Drives it in, flicked, deflected away, and somehow kept out by Garcia once again as Herrera that was denied on the far post. What a chance once again by Costa Rica and coming up big is Garcia. Here you get the little flick on and then Garcia gets over and deny Herrera. It was a little flick there by Fonseca. And then Herrera with the second try and Garcia keeping this game at two to zero. Cruz, the sub. Navarrete, the first sub. Good battle there between her and Rodriguez. Nicaragua has used three subs. Sarah Cruz, Navarrete, as well as Amelie Molina. Rivera, Velasquez, and Ortiz have gone off for Nicaragua. So the blue and white still searching for that first goal. Meanwhile, Costa Rica looking for their third straight game with a clean sheet. The clean sheet will win them Group F. A one goal win will do the same. They just cannot allow Nicaragua to get a win in this game as this is slotted over and sent the other direction by Costa Rica. Fonseca giving chase, Calero gets the ball first. Fonseca called for the foul. In the earlier game tonight, Belize got their first win in Group F by a score of six to one over St. Lucia. That is who Nicaragua will play Sunday evening at 9 p.m. Staff over. Look at Cynthia Claro. Cynthia Claro, one of a handful of players that play locally at Leones de Managua. Look at Claro, plays there as well as Alicia Esquivel, Sarah Cruz, add in Ineth Lopez, and Hilary Munguia. teams that have already advanced to the championship. We mentioned U.S. and Mexico. Group B saw Panama move on. Group C, the Dominican Republic. Group D had Puerto Rico advance, and Group E saw Jamaica. So just two groups have not been decided. This Group F, as well as Group A, which tomorrow night, that's going to be a big one between El Salvador and Canada. That game will kick at 6 p.m. Eastern. Definitely want to tune in for that one. to see Calero walk off. Give her a minute or two to see if she can go back onto the field as Nicaragua has already used three subs. No subs as of yet for Costa Rica. Gonzalez. Vasquez for Herrera. Scott. Top of the 18. Misplayed. Can Costa Rica take advantage? Pushed up and over the crossbar by Garcia. Solano looking for her second goal. Wanted the top corner on the back post. Nice little flick over and Garcia making another splendid save. No 
low-scoring game so far for Costa Rica. In the first game, 13 against Belize. In the second game against St. Lucia, they score nine. Held to two right now. Good move to get around the first defender. Near post ball. Offside flag is up there against Solano. Now we'll have a substitution. We'll have our first sub for Costa Rica. Monica Moderita will come in for Marion Solano. So Solano will leave with the second goal. Moderita in. She scored in the last game against St. Lucia. Solano clearly offside there. So her night is over, but she leaves with that goal coming in the 32nd minute. She had a great chance moments ago that led to that corner as well. Had to flip it up and over Garcia. On the back corner, but Garcia with another great save to keep this game two to nil. Scott, the combination ball. Margarita off the backside. Margarita trying to sque squeeze through two defenders, unable to get by. Nicaragua looking now to quick counter. Navarrete has a little room. Navarrete stuttering go to the end line. Molina. Rush on the outside of the area, plays it backwards. Gets that first goal, this place is gonna erupt. Mejia. Munguia. It's by two defenders, Munguia to the touchline. And a corner coming for Nicaragua. There, Jennifer Fernandez as she paces the dugout. Munguia. Cruz. Cruz Rodriguez for Costa Rica off of Cruz. Touchline. Cruz nearly got to that ball. foot.
Navarrete knocked it over. And a free kick coming for Nicaragua. Sorry, Benavides arguing. Not going to win this. You see Benavides get the legs of Navarrete. Clear foul. Set piece, what kind of run they get into the area. Judges, it goes back post. Munguia gets the first goal of Nicaragua, and now they're one away from leveling things up. First goal for Munguia here in group play, and that is a big one to keep Nicaragua's hopes alive right before the cooling break. In front of the home crowd, Adriana Minguia coming up big. Plays at Zacharias Carrera for her club soccer. Couple different times, Nicaragua has been close. Perez has made some great saves. He had the goal that was called for offside. And now Nicaragua has their first goal on the board for Costa Rica. Both their tallies coming in the opening half. The first one by Sheikha Scott. And the Marianne Solano would score the second in the 32nd minute. And still plenty of time to work with to try to find an equalizer. Costa Rica, they have done a tremendous job attacking the back line of Nicaragua, but Genesis Perez has been absolutely magnificent between the sticks tonight for Nicaragua. I should say Yashoka Garcia, but Perez on the other side for Costa Rica, just as good. That one mistake right there for Perez. And now you see Nicaragua coming out, putting on the pressure, forcing a quick mistake by Costa Rica. And this is the most pressure Las Ticas has seen throughout this group stage. They blew apart their first two opponents. Very rarely did they have to play in their defensive third in those opening two games. It's been a much different looking game for Costa Rica here tonight. Costa Rica though, very much up for the challenge as well as Nicaragua. Both teams know what's at stake. Scott, can you give Costa Rica some breathing room if Costa Rica can find a second goal? Calero, good effort to keep that from crossing the end line. Remember to stay alive, Nicaragua needs a win. They cannot settle for a draw.
Across into the box. Not it down, but not out. Tall did enough to help clear that away and then sent the other direction by Nicaragua. But Vital getting there at first, but we'll have a free kick now for Costa Rica. It was Mejia that ultimately cleared that away and then a foul was committed about 10 yards outside the area. And this is where Herrera is so dangerous. She had an opportunity earlier in the first half that she missed from about the same spot. 75th minute. Group F play between Nicaragua and Costa Rica from Estadio Nacional de Football in Managua, Nicaragua. Herrera. Josh Toll with you, and this has been a great game in Group F, both sides showing off their talents, whether it's in the attacking third or just the keepers coming up big. Vital. Mejia eludes one defender. Knocked off the ball, won back by Scott, but Scott in the process hit the face of Mejia. 's with a golden assist tonight for Costa Rica there you see that left hand extended Navarrete wins her team a corner. Corner coming right here for Munguia and company. Munguia, the lone goal scorer, will send this in with the left foot. Near post, sent out. Brittany Vasquez doing a good job defending that near post for Genesis Perez. Second try. Alina! Alina with a good look. That's it over the crossbar. So Samir Roper will come on. Alpha go, Tanisha Fonseca. Also coming on will be Jimena Jimenez. And heading off will be Luciana Gonzalez. So each team has now used three subs. Rika bringing a little bit more protection in. And there again, her first touch is Roper. Roper had two goals in the win against St. Lucia. Hard challenge right there against Garage. Clean game, just one yellow card so far in this one. That one went to Zeldin back in the first half. Great job once again in the middle by our referee tonight, Carly Shaw McLaren. Appreciating crew across these groups have been tremendous. Prasino with that strong leg. Molina playing it out. Manguia, Navarrete, Prasino pushes it back past midfield, headed backwards. Dangerous ball back there by Nicaragua. Nicaragua holding strong, but all they need is that one error in Costa Rica will indeed make Nicaragua play, pay like they have throughout this group play. Herrera looking for her first goal. Won't make through Calero as she 
sends it into the stands. Ten minutes and some change remains in this one. Herrera crossing, knotted away. Chance here on the follow up. Roper denied on the ball. Now we will have a whistle. Claro down once again. She's been beat up in this one. Second time the train staff has had to come out to look at Claro. Claro up though. Costa Rica looking to hold on to a two to one win and take charge and finish top of Group F. Nicaragua trying to prevent that from happening. Tomorrow more great games. El Salvador taking on Canada to decide the winner of Group A. We also have St. Martin and Curacao going at it. Both those games at 6 p.m. We look at Sunday's action. Costa Rica, Guatemala will be the early game, 6 p.m. It'll be Nicaragua taking on St. Lucia to close out. All right, forcing pressure. Zeldin that's down, got hit in the face. Couple of hands being pushed out by the Costa Rican players. How to control your body. There you see it's the right hand of the substitution Monica Madrieta that gets Zeldin in the face. Both Monica and Veronica scored in the 9-0 win over St. Lucia. Veronica also had a goal in the win against Belize. Costa Rica allowing their first goal here in group play. Adriana Manguia, the lone goal scorer for Nicaragua. That in the 71st minute, the only two goals for Costa Rica so far coming back in the first half. They've yet to be shut out in a half here in group play. They went over 250 minutes without allowing a goal before that first one was scored. Uh, create a little wiggle room, plays it back for Cruz. Cruz unable to get by Scott. She has been terrific tonight. Then she loses possession right as I say that. And are we going to have our, yes, we are going to have our first booking against Costa Rica. As Sheikha Scott is handed the yellow here in the 84th minute. Scott, a yellow card, an assist, and a goal tonight. A little bit of everything. Gia sets up with a dangerous left foot. Looking for Dabaret. Hops right into the hands of Perez.
Rodriguez trying to find Roper. Cervantes committed the foul on the touchline. Clear foul. Just under five minutes remains. We'll see how much stoppage time is added on. That could be very key for both these sides. I think right now it's probably gonna be around two, three minutes. I've had a couple players dinged up, but I don't think we're gonna get that much time, but you never know. Vincino drives it. Vasquez. Scott. Nice touch there by Scott. Rare mistake by her when it comes to passing the ball. She's usually good at playing to the space or right to her teammates' feet. Benavidez going back, Molina right with her, knocked down, no foul. Look at this game, two to one. Very much could be two to two, but a goal that happened back in the first half was called off for Nicaragua due to offside. Here's that battle again between Benavides and Molina. Shoulder to shoulder, that is clean. The captain getting the win on that one. Benavides once again. Good job coming over by Vasquez as that was misplayed by Brasino. Good effort by Vlalta of Nicaragua. Blue and white looking for an equalizer. Trip and a foul just outside the area. And let's see what Nicaragua can do with this free kick. Could come down to this set piece. There you see a clear clip by Ashley Gonzalez. Maguia. Astiga's hoping to hold on for the next couple of minutes. Trying to withstand the pressure here from Nicaragua. Cruz. Trying to get around Vasquez. Back by Roper. Scott. Rodriguez pops it high into the sky. Navarrete backing up his Brasino. Navarrete step over. Once again gets by. Navarrete working way down the end line. Good hard challenge by Vasquez, gets up. Knocked over by Navarrete.
Five minutes of stoppage time will be added on. Plenty of time for Nicaragua to get an equalizer. Costa Rica searching to get that goal that will give them a two goal lead and put this game away. Crowd has been alive all night tonight. This game being held in the capital city of Managua in Nicaragua. Great host here. looking for one magical moment. Costa Rica, meanwhile, looking to survive and win the group and move on to the championship. Again, that'll be held May 24th through June 3rd in the Dominican Republic. The top three teams of that will then move on to next year's Women's FIFA U20 World Cup. Nicaragua going through his garage. Encino doing enough to come up. So Herrera off. Veronica Margarita will come on. Herrera, the first time she's been denied a goal in group play. She had chances. Roper. Roper controlling. Blocked side by Calero. Do something here on the counter. Not right ahead of everyone. Yes, sending that four rows up into the stands. on the end line, knocked out, and a goal kick coming. So a chance here for Perez to at least let a little time run off the clock before she sends it away. Costa Rica hoping to hold on to stay atop of Group F and advance into the championship. Great qualification round all around through Group A through F. And again, another important one tomorrow between El Salvador and Canada. Four groups have been already won. Group B, Panama, Group C, Dominican Republic, Group D, Puerto Rico, and Group E, Jamaica. Costa Rica now hoping to last 70 more seconds before that final whistle. Hard collision. You see Scott running into the backside of Mejia. was Perez. She got over late. She had a couple runners to deal with, but she's able to stop the ball. Cruz was right there for Nicaragua. 
And you have to wonder if this is the opportunity for Coaster. Oh, offside flag is up. Maybe one last push here coming for Nicaragua. There you can see. It was offside indeed. Margarita just two head. And there is the final whistle and Costa Rica escapes with the win in Managua as they get this victory by a score of two to one. What a performance by both sides. Las Ticas able to hold on for the 90 minutes. You gotta hand it to Garcia, the goalkeeper of Nicaragua, as well as Genesis Perez, the goalkeeper of Costa Rica. Two to one, the final highlights when we return. Well, 90 minutes of football tonight between Nicaragua and Costa Rica did not disappoint one bit. It was action from the start. Good back and forth football match here we had as this is played over to Scott, blocked in front, and then the follow up denied by Garcia. First it was Claro, the captain, in the first initial block, and then Garcia coming up with her many big saves. But here would be the opening goal in the sixth minute. A nice little flick over by Scott and she gets it by Garcia for the opening goal. That would be big right there for Costa Rica. Garcia had quite the qualification play here in Group F, and she gave her team and country the early lead in the sixth minute, getting that by Garcia. Going over to the crowd, letting them know. And then here would be a great chance. Ball played back to the spot, comes to Zelding, just bends it wide and over the crossbar. Here Herrera denied by Garcia. Herrera once again and right there in the perfect spot is Garcia to make the stop on Costa Rica's leading goal scorer. Scott here, she plays the ball back. Good effort by Fonseca but finds the boot of Solano and she gets it in near post. Scott with the assist, Solano with her first goal in group play. Cutting that one right by Garcia. Nice ball right there from Scott. Finding Solano in the 32nd minute. Everything going Costa Rica's way here. Best opportunity in the first half, but ruled offside as that was brought down. Nicaragua thought they had a goal for sure, but denied when the flag was up. Little through ball to Herrera, but just boots it wide. Not Herrera's night when it comes to scoring. She had scored in both games previous. This one bending in, and who is it? Garcia once again with a diving save right before halftime to keep this game two to zero and within reach. Nicaragua would come out the aggressor in the second half, but Costa Rica still would have opportunities. A nice little tip ball from Fonseca looking for Solano, played out by Nicaragua. Then here you would have on the corner try once again Garcia makes the first save and then stops Herrera on the back post. Here would be the goal and it was a thing of beauty from Adriana Manguia in the 71st minute off the free kick going right over the outstretch hand of Perez. Perez misjudges that goes into the near post. Manguia goes back post. Here's another one popped over by Garcia and Manguia giving Nicaragua 
their first goal here tonight against Costa Rica, their lone goal. They would have opportunities, but they would just not have enough to get anything by Genesis Perez as Costa Rica gets the win by a score to two to one, and they will take the top table here in Group F. For this CONCACAF crew, I am Josh Toll saying good night. And before that, we'll have the standings. Costa Rica, there you see the goal differential, which would have played a huge factor. 23, Guatemala finishes in second. Nicaragua will finish in third. Belize in that last spot. But still one more game for Nicaragua as they will play Sunday night against St. Lucia. Costa Rica with the win by a score of 2-1. to one.